so yes, finally, 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 though of course, we're back with another Pokemon review, of course, yay, so yeah, uh, we got the next review episode right here, of course, on the, um, you know, uh, Dark Run Cur Cur uh, Cresselia Cr uh, special with Dawn returning. Um, but yeah, part one, because I, I was really mellowed out in that part. I remember I was really mellowed, mellowed out. I took a shower, just got the shower and stuff like that. I actually felt really good. I think I was. It was at night. I just felt really good about that bit. Um, but yeah, first part really didn't really impress me that much. I felt like Dawn was really for. I know a lot of people talk about Dawn, you know, being back. It's great she's back though, but I felt like her black and white version was better of her coming back. Don't get me wrong, Drake's is not that bad though. Drake's isn't bad, but it's also just like. I don't know, I felt like it was really just, not forced, but it just it really didn't need to think. I felt like Chloe could went to stand by herself to like deal with this again. Like kind of like how her um, episode with Gally or um, Ponyta went, Gally Pony and Rapidash went. That episode was actually really, really good. It was really doing well, it was drawn well, the colors were beautiful. Really good episode for Chloe. But also just, I just feel like um, it could just, I don't know. I mean, Dawn being here isn't bad, like helping like them you know, interacting with each other, changing each other, each other, really good. But it's also like, I feel like it was really just kind of like, not forced, but it kind of was forced. Well, I feel like other people have been saying that though, but yeah. Um, again, just, I just have so much to say about this. Part two, I did look at it. It's way better than part one, I feel like, in my opinion. I mean, Chloe coming to Sinnoh and stuff like that, seeing as she goes perspective of the stories, you know, so it's related back to Dawn and um, Chloe. Um, you know, her Chloe, Chloe growing more over, you know, seeing as friends are just going, growing more as a trainer slash you know um person in the series though again this episode these are lots of episodes for Chloe perfect for her I feel like they're really good but yeah um on this episode review again this is my first time like actually reacting over it and going over it because I'm kind of like reacting and dialoguing in the episode at the same time so we see of course Griselli at the last part um got got down I actually did just record this the other day ago um part one I'll probably release part one then part two again same same day same week whatever I don't know when though because I've been uploading I've been doing so many videos this last week it's just kind of hard to Kind of keep up the um, you know, what when, when we upload here and there and stuff like that. Again, yeah, a little bit hard to kind of go on that a little bit though, but yeah, because with good like Cresselia hurt, like we did in the last part, stuff like that. We've seen Doth's perspective how she met it. Um, I forgot, I think this is part of not a movie, but I think it's like an episode from Diamond and Pearl. I can't remember though, it's been years since I've seen every episode of Diamond and Pearl. I remember she met him, I think, met Cresselia once, um, because they um had that in the Dark War episode where you know, Team Rock is trying to take over. I was like, I don't know what Team Rock even did in that episode. I know we had like, um, I think it was like a Nightmare Machine Team Rocket made it. And I was some other joke, magnetic waves. I think Brock mentioned that. Then it's like, um, you know, um, good. That's how Cresselia, that's how Dark Ride came on the island. You can Dark Ride and Cresselia are basically each other's counterparts. One one, the other one, you know, because you know, when Dark Ride, you know, it's like, ha ha, take my opportunity. You know, Cresselia's down, Dark Ride's like, yeah, literally, like, ha 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 ha. But yeah, um, of course, yeah, again, I just almost have to say, of course, we see Cresselia get back up, of course. We see Don and um, Chloe kind of surprised about it, though, of course. I mean, it's the first time ever seeing it, though, of course. Then Chloe revealing her father's words and stuff like that, going up close to it. Because we see how, like, uh, Chloe kind of deals with the situation, seeing, like, it's trusting it. It literally walks up and trusts it. Of course, we they, um, see it, um, treating it well. Of course, actually, um, actually, it was a really good moment for, for, for Don, though. Like, how uh, we see it treating it. Then we see Dark Rider, of course, coming up. Kind of like, oh, yeah, we kind of see, like, you know, actually going to be, meet Don and Chloe up soon a little bit, though. They're going to meet them up, though. Of course, we see, um, could we like uh, kind of really like, perspective on how like Dawn deals with the situation and stuff like that? How like, she made like a revival, or I'm um, not revival, or but she made like kind of like a um, I think was it, I think it was a revival herb or like a herb or mixing up the um antidote for her and stuff like that to make um Cresselia feel better and make it get the strength back. But of course, we see Dawn kind of reference Brock here, like how she kind of learned from him, which was really, which really was like really good touch for this. Cause you do like this little moment right here where she mentions Brock and like mentions like you know um, how you know uh, she basically helped him out on his journey learning like. From them and stuff like that, which actually I did like this moment. It was actually really good. Uh, kind of like, um, you know, because we, we got Dawn and uh, no, we got Brock missing last season, so it makes sense why we got this stuff. But of course, though, we see, um, um, of course, Ashley goes to taking chasing down Dark Cry, leading um off to um Chloe and Dawn. Of course, so we get a little bit of a moment between Dawn and stuff like that. Of course, Dawn and Chloe, which actually was really good though. I kind of actually do like the little moment though. Them going back and forth and talking and stuff like that. Really good moment for them again. Last episode they had a pretty good moment. You know how they met was actually pretty good though. We see their journeys, their perspectives on life, and how like they became how they came to be, how they came to be today and stuff like that. Really good moment though. Of course, like how they first met each other's Pokemon, how they um you know kind of fucked up each other a little bit, which actually was a really good relationship. I would love to see Dawn. 
Don kind of come back and teach Chloe a little bit more because this episode actually was really good for them though of course Christmas Eve Dawn um, actually debuted one of her new outfits which actually looks really great for her though I really do like it though for Dawn it fits really well though okay it's where she kind of just pulls it out because I listen back on like hey I'm here how y'all doing I just got in the animation budget how y'all doing today um yeah the Christmas Eve um or do like one of her performances it's actually a little bit um bit like a really good moment though right there I actually do like that moment though of course see Chloe kind of blush up though she's trying to kind of mimic it though but of course then she um oh it was a little kind of flops up the end though but it actually still was pretty good though a really good moment there I actually do like that little moment though um it actually was really good though of course we see um of course, Cuffridge Chris Elliott, see, is still hurt and stuff like that. And of course, I think believe they all fall asleep. And of course, they're kind of connecting how um, I believe how like all the town. I guess you're trying like Chris Elliott via the dream to try to tell Chloe and Dawn like um, basically Dark Rise taking over and stuff like that. We see it kind of like dream about it. No, I think no, because Dark Rise in the area, so I guess it's a feeling of his nightmare because they fall asleep. Uh, that was Chris Elliott. Okay, no, Dark Rise. I'm um, taking over their um, nightmares and stuff like that. Of course, you know the nightmare Pokemon and stuff like that. Of course, we see them kind of clash. You know them telling the story how they um you know like Dark Rise um Chris Elliott and stuff like that. Know they had to balance out each other. Well, one's doing a bad, and the other, you know, blah blah blah. You know about that, you know. Because Elliot's down again. Dark was like, okay, taking my chance. Go to the store. I'm <laughs> taking something from the store. Taking that candy bar. But yeah, of course, see like you know the um again like you know how like you know basically you know they kind of connect to each other. They're counterbalances with each other. Again, there's some of the stuff I want to kind of say and go over, though, of course. Of course, we see, yeah, because, yeah, they did fall asleep, though. Of course, yeah, we see Cresselia, I guess, kind of come in uh, saving them. Okay, so, yeah, Dark Rye takes them over via the uh, Nightmare Dream Room, whatever. We see Cresselia kind of wake them up, though, kind of, like, warning them. You know, Dark Rye's kind of dangerous. It's around and stuff like that. Of course, they get back up. It sends this feeling, then, of course, a little bit more emotion, of course, and stuff like that. A little bit emotional moment right there, of course, you know. So, like, kind of, it gives me like like the lake belt like all the lake guardians vibes like you know how ash don and brock when they um first kind of like guardians and stuff like that like how they connect with each other it kind of reminds me of this like that moment a little bit here though because again i did watch every almost every episode of center when i was a kid i don't remember half of them nowadays though i meant to jade is running down a whole entire forest that was like a really weird side of context i was like what the heck it was just really weird yeah pokemon out of context sometimes is actually really cool <laughs> like the double pikachu like that's an animation error but they had like two pikachus um and that was actually really good, though, of course. We see kind of Ash and, like, goes to a bonsai, kind of, like, you know, you know, seeing it sweat and stuff like that, of course. Like, they're having a nightmare, of course, you see, like, you know, they're, like, they see Dark Rye kind of doing it and stuff like that, of course, and they follow it. And, of course, we see Cresselia, Cresselia um, doing the same thing, of course. Um, we see, of course, oh, yeah, and Dark Rye just got there. He's like, hey, how y'all doing? I'm just in the sky, animation budget. And, of course, we see Team Rocket not that far from there as well, Jesse James and Meowth. Um, and, of course, they fought Dark Rye as well, and, of course, um, you know, Cresselia tells him, like, hey, get him. Then, of course, we see Team Rocket come in. Kind of mess up the moment and stuff like that, of course. We see him get um, Dusk, Noir, and um, Lunar Zone. I kind of like that, though. You know, it kind of resembling Dark Rye, of course, the moon and stuff like that. You know, Ghost type and stuff like that. Of course, we see Dark Rye just easily pin them off, though. Of course, they start to run off into the forest and stuff like that. We see him a little bit more. Of course, we see Dawn and Ash meet up once more. Um, again, this is a really good moment, though. Again, Pippo's eyes being blue and black in the middle still baffles me. It's still throwing me off, though. Like, it used to be, like, full on black, like, you know, the one white people's. I, it's just, it, it's just mad throwing me off now. It's just animation just throwing me off now. I'm sorry. It just, it really is. It's just completely throwing me off now. So, of course, we see, um, of course, you know, go be like, hey, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, of course, we see. You know, Go's like, really, another friend? Like, how many do you have? I feel like Go just kind of like, you know, I'm just getting shoved in the system, though. Of course, we see them all talk, of course, you know, meet up and stuff like that. We're really good, though. Of course, we see the situations like how Team Rocket's and it and stuff like that. And of course, Team Rocket just get one shot blown off screen, though, of course. Then we see, of course, um, you know, all, again, all the gang getting together, um, you know, basically going over how to explain the situations, how Dark Rye and Cresselia are both doing this and stuff like that. Of course, seeing the situations, how they want to help and stuff like that, of course. But yeah, of course, we see the other Team Rocket, um, the elite gangs coming and stuff like that, of course. Uh, I think we saw this already via the preview, though, so we don't know about this, like, you know, big battle, all that stuff, of course. Uh, again, fairly, fairly simple stuff, though. Again, we just, we worry with the wall that's pretty much though already, though, so, yeah. Of course, we see Cresselia and Dark Rye, of course, trying to go at it, but of course, then Team Rocket, the elite Team Rocket, um, team have to go in there and try to, you know, do whatever they can to, you know, to stop it. Then, of course, all the whole team just basically big battles. Of course, we um, see them get the advantage and stuff like that. We see Dark Rock actually get shocked, though, and stuff like that, of course. And we see it kind of, like, you know, get, um, you know, kind of trampled and stuff like that. And the whole team, again, the whole, um, go Ash, go, like, you know, the whole, uh, you know, train, all the uh, Pokemon trainers all get caught up in the net. And, of course, we see um, Dark Rock, of course, getting hurt. Then we see Cresselia actually start to help it, though, of course. Then we see kind of the, them kind of, like, you know, working together a little bit, though, of course. Again, like, that Dark Rock, okay, Dark Rock is still one of my favorite design Pokemon. Mythical, Legendary, 
secondary, however you want to pronounce it, um, or event. Because I, um, I, I know it's like um, you had to go like you know it was like the kid fell asleep, he can't get up because he had a nightmare. If you're a dark ride, you got to go to get a ticket for like the, the, his dad, the boater, the, for the boat, and then, you know go to the island catch dark ride. I don't know. That's still, that's still one of my favorite moments there. Then of course we see. Um, of course, Caselli and Dark White kind of fight back, join up forces, go together. And of course, we see, um, not, I think it's like, I forgot that move. I know Tobias used it. Um, I mean, like, at this point, you know, like, legendaries, multiple legendaries and Pokemon are not all the same. We've seen, like, Reproduce, you know, Baby Lucia, Mewtwo. We, we've seen all this already, though. We already know the multiple legendary thing, multiple legendary theory is already, like, thrown out the window at this point in the Pokemon series. So, of course, Dark White puts them all to sleep, though. <laughs> he, literally, like, let them all go to sleep, which I kind of actually do like, though, of course. Then, of course, we see all the people get, we see everybody get free. Then, of course, like, <laughs> Jim like, Hey, you gotta go there and steal it! Just falls asleep. I actually like that moment. This actually was really funny, though, of course. So, of course, we see um, Cresselia use them all his strength. Of course, we see Dark Ride in the background, like, man, I'm about to anime turn around these people. Of course, we see it fade off in the distance. In the distance. Of course, we see um, Cresselia go as well. Again, you know, they had to bounce out each other. Cresselia's like, nah, man, you ain't about to get away with this. Of course, we see him go off until the sun's it, like the Lion King, um, you know, happy ending. I don't know why I mentioned that. It's really weird. But yeah, of course, we see him go off, though, of course, you know, you know, light and darkness, you know, and that's also that, yeah, light and darkness, you know, one bounce out the other, the yin and the yang kind of moment. Again, they're actually really cool, though. I know, I never really, like, caught the Caselli, though, but I have, like, four shiny dark eyes and Pokemon Sun and Moon. Again, I was just, Ultra Sun and Moon, again, I was just trying to build the book and eggs, and I literally just... Again, literally just got like four of those. Again, I just fill, I just trying to fill the Pokedex, man. I'm pretty much done at this point. I just gotta get like some ally. I was like, I was really just lazy on that. I was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm just gonna be lazy for like next couple months. I was like, and I was just trying to get like, you know, like, um, what was that one? I can't remember. One of the Ultra Beasts. I forgot. Was it, um, I forgot about that already. Oh, I forgot about that. So, yeah. Of course, we see the heroes all save day and stuff like that. Of course, we get a little, like, kind of ending beat setting there. Of course, we see Professor Zeris kind of freak out and stuff like that. As Chloe's been explaining the story. Then, of course, they have a whole bunch of pimples at the lab. A little bit of a touch there, of course. So, of course, we see all the gang kind of together and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah. A really good ending, though. Of course, see all the trainers were fucked up on the journey. You see how Chloe, you know, you know, being like, oh my gosh, uh, Dawn. But then, of course, you know, you see them kind of grow with each other and stuff like that. Of course, we see all the gang uh, come together. You know, Chloe's a little bit more shyer. But now we see her kind of open up to the experience. You know, of meeting new people and stuff like that. Again, really good ending though. Again, really good ending. So yeah. And of course we also was confirmed we're getting a Dioka and Palkia event around the winter time so we can see that. Again, love winter time, love the winter time. But yeah. Again, I, I feel like they're kind of pushing because the Sinnoh remakes are coming. Like they know it's coming in less than like 100 days. Uh, so about that, of course. I think it's good. I believe the Sinnoh remakes are confirmed at the end of this year. So, um, yeah, it makes sense. I, I kind of get it now. It's like, wait, why are they putting so much Sinnoh stuff? I mean, Dawn, I kind of get coming back because of the event and stuff like that. I kind of feel like that really wasn't like a thing. I feel like the thing just kind of, they just rolled up. But at the end of the day, I feel like the Dalia and Palkia thing are for the Sinnoh remix. The Sinnoh remix come out, this, I think, this December. So, get me wrong if I'm wrong if I'm wrong and stuff like that, of course. But yeah, I believe they're coming out for the winter time this year. So, um, yeah. Um, but yeah, pretty much the episode's over, though. Again, I feel like the part two was written way better. Part one, I feel like, was kind of flat because Dumb, of course, back in. But part two definitely makes up for it. I feel like I got my full thoughts and opinions out, though. So, yeah. See you guys there, though. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Great life. All good job again, though. Make sure to stay safe. Wash your heads. God bless all of you. If you're going out and wear a mask, so toilet paper if you really, really, really did. Ow! So, my guys, thanks for all this info, though. Of course, did you like it? Did you hate it? I think the episode was great. Again, part two, way better. Part one was. Uh, I don't know. Part one was really forced and stuff like that. But, yeah, part two is way better. I love it. It was great. So, yeah. Again, end of this year, we're going to. Or winter time, end of this year, whatever. We're going to get. We are gonna get a dialogue on Pucky, a special um so yeah I mean, I know what even though I haven't done the thumbnail yet for this. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the thumbnail. There's so much stuff a good shot I wanna actually do for this and stuff like that. So yeah. See you guys later though again though. Peace out.